what do guards need to possess to play at the D1 level? It's a great question. So I tell, I tell my guards all the time, like, unfortunately, if you're going to be a point guard that plays for me, you're, I tell them all the time, you're going to hate me um, just because I, I, I coach that position so much differently than every other position. Um, you have to impact winning at the end of the day. Like if you're, if you're, if you're a point guard and I tell the kid, I tell my kid, that's going to need this all the time. Like, it's great if you score 16 points, but if we lose by 15, we need to look at ourselves in the mirror and understand like, what did you do as the point guard to not impact winning? Like, um, that's my biggest thing. Like, are you defending at a high level? Are you communicating at an even higher level? Um, are we in sync all the time? What are you doing after timeouts? Are, you, are we, are, are you and I talking? Um, do you, are you getting guys huddled every time? I think there's so many intangibles that coaches will look at, especially from a point guard standpoint that they want to see at the next level. Um, you know, the basketball piece is easy, right? Can the kid shoot it? Is he athletic? What's his body type look like? Is he 6'1", 6'2", 6'3"? That stuff is easy. But I think the intangible piece from being a leader and impact and winning with your energy and how you could get guys moving in the right direction is the biggest thing. 